I think it's safe to say that Trash is not living, laughing, nor loving in this situation. For one, I have a laceration in my stomach. Two, I'm hungry, depressed, anxious, and in so much pain I can't even sleep at 10.50 p.m. Anyways, welcome back to the Hunted Challenge. And today is gonna be the day, hopefully, please, I'm begging, that we actually get a car working whether by brute force or by luck, so we can get the hell out of Riverside. But that's going to be a little ways away, as I need to deal with the present, and that is the whole pain situation. Thankfully, I did find a beer can in the bar earlier, so I can drink that for pain reduction and catch some sleep, I think, on day three or four. I I've lost count at this point, but I will see all of you then. On a brand new day. We're definitely not infected, but the pain is not going away. That's fine. The only thing I will do right now is head outside of our school, and it looks like a fog has blanketed the area. That's not good for me, because uh, that means there's extra camouflage for the pursuer. But we're going to go through the normal way, instead of the window approach. That way I don't lock myself out of my damn house again, because this is basically my own house. We're going to move it out of the way, we're going to head out, and I can kind of tell you what we're going to be looking for today. And really, the only thing I'm looking out for right now is a workable car. If you guys remember last episode, I found out that a 9% charge on a battery isn't good enough to start it up, and I also figured out that we don't even have a, a set of whatchamacallits. We don't even have an extra tire on that, so even if I did start up that car, it would have been useless. So yeah, we're going to be looking around the area for a potentially better battery and maybe a better car that I can just take instead of that terrible, terrible station wagon. Starting with this blue car here. So let's see what we got. We have bop, bop, bop. No keys, nothing in the trunk, and a missing battery with a terrible gas tank. Not a good start at all, but we'll move around this way instead of heading up north that way instead to see what else I can find. I'm kind of keeping myself on the move as well, just so I can make the best use of our downtime before he gets another whiff of me. Which reminds me, I should have my damn baseball bat out just in case. Anyways, it's time for us to look for a fabled set of keys with a decent car. We already have the jack and lug wrench and fuel, so that's really all I need right now. Oh, and there he is. Okay. <laughs> it really seems like he didn't want to waste his time tracking me down, which is a blessing in disguise for me. No, it's locked! Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that was a little bit scary. I'll be honest here. Oh, oh, I was about to say this is a blessing in disguise for me, because if I can lose him, I can have a, a, a pressure-free time to look for the things I need. Yes, because I will lose him and the timer will get reset. I hate the fact that that door was locked, dude. I'm gonna run out the other side and just like that, he probably got confused enough for me to go look around the parking lots. The mist also cleared up, which is very nice as well. At least we're safe now. He's gone, right? Yes, he is. I don't see him anywhere. Anyways, it's time for the real boring part, and that's sifting through every single vehicle in search of one. And already we have an almost perfect condition vehicle right here. The only thing it's missing is a battery and an extra tire. And if I can find a, a set of keys, I might try to put in one of the other sport batteries that I found before just to see if it works, because this might be the car. Anyways, we'll go check inside. Does it have a battery or key? No, it doesn't have any of those. Oh, would you look at that? There's even a sport tire inside as well. There is a chance we do find the key inside of this house here, so I'm going to check briefly. And if we get lucky with that, I will be extremely happy and we will have a working vehicle. Let's look around the area. It's probably going to be in one of the kitchen counters if it spawns anywhere. And already, I don't have a lot of faith that we'll actually find it. 
Oh, and it looks like our friend is here as well. <laughs> oh, perfect time for that, buddy. Oh, man, you, you just can't give me a damn break. Is there any key nearby here? No. It looks like he's also stuck on the door like the idiot he is. I'm going to leave him on that door, and I'm going to continue to look around the area. Okay, he's not going to be able to do a damn thing. I, I really need that damn car key if I can find it, though. We have a single book, which is good for my depression. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It was worth a shot, and uh, it was kind of a good thing that we trapped him inside this house, because I can go loot some of the nearby areas without too much of a worry. And right now, I see this nice flipped over car, which could have a battery in it. So let's go check it out while moving our way down this way, because I do want to check out, bop, 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 let me pause the game. The parking lots near the Riverside Boat Club here and in front of the church there. Those two places I have not looted yet, so there is a higher chance of me finding something good there. Anyways, what do we got inside this vehicle here? I'm also really surprised that I can actually open the trunk this way. We have no battery. Okay, we're gonna keep on moving then. All the way down the empty streets. Right to the church with its stained glass. I think that's a new feature, by the way. I definitely don't remember that before. And more importantly, the nearby parking lot. Now, I did loot it before, but I kind of didn't really pay too much attention to the inside of the cars and to see if each of the cars had a pair of keys in them. So I want to do that real briefly as well, just in case, because I already see a pair of keys right in here for the van. Okay, I'll be honest. Oh my... Who keeps dropping metal bars in this place, man? <laughs> I almost thought the zombie was on me. I I don't think it is, though. But yeah, we do have a pair of keys for this van, but the van is not very important. Also, the van has an almost filled up gas tank. I'm going to have to remember that. But yeah, this thing is terrible to drive. I'm, I'm not having a good time right now. We're going to continue looking for this for something, man. Holy crap. What do we got in here? No keys, that's what, but a lighter. A missing battery there. No keys there. With there being zero here as well. Let's go check out the boat club, which is the only parking lot I haven't actually looted yet. And I also see a corpse up there. Huh. That, that is kind of ominous, but we'll go check it out. Hello, sir, are you good? No, it's just a, it's just a corpse uh, with a nice fanny pack. Hey, you know what? I'll take that. Thank you. Anyways, what kind of vehicles you got here, bud? Let's see. We got a couple vans, a nice pickup truck, which is actually a very nice, uh, nice ride. And if I remember correctly, we did find a heavy duty battery that had juice in it. So this might be our car right down there, but I won't get too far ahead of myself. I'll go check out all of the internals, make sure I got all the keys, and we'll see what we're working with. We have no good battery, a little bit of gas, with nothing in the trunk. And before I continue to loot any of the others, I am going to create a small uh, escape plan for me, and that's leaving this door open here. So if our pursuer comes up, I can hurry up, run inside there, shut the door, and then run away real fast, thus losing him quickly. I need to plan more ahead like that so I don't get caught surprised and almost murdered, like me opening the locked door um, in the first few minutes. We also have a hand torch, which is so massive. That is so good. That actually allows me to do so much as well. No keys. Oh, Jesus. Another screwdriver. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I hate these jump scares, man. They are... They're keeping me on edge, which is honestly a good thing, because as soon as I get comfortable, that's when I get murdered. But man, it could be a lot more subtle in the ways that it scares me. <laughs> oh, we got uh, a good battery in here. That's an 8%er right there. Uh, I might honestly take it. I don't know if it'll work. But hey, you know, that's an extra battery. I'll leave it inside my, my backpack so it don't weigh me down. Maybe we can find a set of keys and maybe that station wagon I tried to fix up before is just broken and busted. Who knows? You know, I sure as hell don't. What do we got in here? This looks like a brand new van and I hope it is. It is not. No battery, no gas. 
We do have a wrench though, which is the final piece in having a complete mechanical uh, tool, tool set, which is awesome. This car has nothing. And lastly, this truck right here has a hand torch, a Chevalier D6 key with no gas. But I think I can work with this. Hold on here, let me cook. Does this- You didn't even- You didn't even make a damn sound at that time. That was so messed up, sir. <laughs> oh, that is why the jump scares are a necessary evil. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna run inside here. If he opens the door, I'm gonna scream. He's not gonna open it, right? He's not gonna open it. Beautiful. Well, we got ourselves a potential vehicle right down there. I like the truck because it has a lot of horsepower and it's red and I and I think that's pretty cool. So let's go. Let's keep an eye out for just that. And to be honest, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for any type of battery. We can lose them real easy. And while I'm leaving this godforsaken boat club house place, uh, I can chew on some chips. Okay, let's do a good old fashioned looting montage. I will keep you guys updated on what I find. In which we have a decent battery once again that probably won't work knowing my track record. Another set of keys inside here. Does this actually start? No. It looks like we need a charge above 10% in order to start up a vehicle. So I am back to the drawing board. And really, the only thing I can keep my eyes out for is a trunk spawn that might spawn in a battery. As you see, a lot of these trunks spawn in mechanical supplies. So there is a good chance of me finding a car battery with complete filled up juice inside one of them. Though other than that, I just need to get lucky with a survivor vehicle to maybe get just that. We also do have this car battery type, heavy duty, with quite a bit of juice in it. I might try this. I don't know if it'll work, but it's the only chance I have right now. And if it works, I, I can finally rest, you know? But uh, we will check the rest of these vehicles here, and if I got nothing, I got nothing. Yeah, there's definitely nothing. Let's go head back, pop this battery in, load it up with a little bit of gas, and see if it starts. It is getting a little bit late out, as it is 4.40 p.m., so I might need to focus on getting home and getting some rest as well. Hopefully this vehicle works, though, and we will be cooking with some proper gasoline. Please, 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 please. Oh my god, it does. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, and it has all four tires. All right, this changes up everything. I I am so happy. For one, I'm going to have to leave this car running in order for it to recharge its battery fully. Two, I would really like a new window. That that is something I I definitely do want, but man, this is this is huge. I can actually leave this 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 stupid town now, man. So let's go drive up to that one vehicle that I remember having all of the gasoline at and we can begin the very slow process of transferring it over to my beautiful new pickup truck. That's right. Good old trash is a proper car owner now. The only thing I need to keep an eye out for is uh, the zombie jumping me. Matter of fact, I might drop off some extra stuff in the trunk just so I don't overweight my character and get the uh, over encumbered malice because that's the last thing I need right now. And we'll continue with our mechanical prowess, which is filling up and dumping in copious amounts of gasoline using singular use water bottles. <laughs> this is rough, but it works, damn it. Why is that tree moving? I don't know if that's just me freaking out, but I've been keeping my eyes around the area just in case if he decides to roll up. Because this is the time for him to attack if he really wants to kill me this challenge. We're looking good. I don't know how many bottles of gasoline this damn truck takes, but it is eating them up, which is good. I, I also am very scared about how much gasoline this car will consume, because I also am running with like a 2.5 times gasoline multiplier. So um, I hope this gets me to another town at least. There are a few other cars that I can get the gasoline at, so... Yeah, I just want to top this damn thing off first and foremost. Just like that. The tree moved again. It's still nothing. It's the, it's just the wind. <laughs> no, it isn't. It isn't the wind. Oh, you, you little, you little, you little guy, you. Okay, we're going to lead him uh, into the Gigamart 
and I'll try and lose him inside there. Hopefully he is into the door opening variant or this is gonna get bad very quick. And hopefully I don't pick the wrong door to enter because if I do, I'm gonna trap myself and then die inevitably. Does he open the door? He does not. Okay, so we've effectively contained him. Good, good, good. Is he gonna stay that way if I hop around this way through the counters? I hope you do, idiot. He is. That's what I like to see. Imagine getting outsmarted by Trash himself. And that gives me a very nice uh, feeling of reassurance, which is perfect for me because now instead of looking around 360 degrees, I can only look in that direction and know that he's down there. So yeah, we stay winning. But boom, we finally got all of the gasoline in there. And now I can go check out my car in which we have 32% of the battery already filled up, giving me a lot of time, 42 units out of 50 in the gasoline tank, and a 50% engine condition. Perfect. I'm gonna go drive down towards the, uh, whatchamacallit now. This little vehicle right here that I remember having a little bit of gasoline, and I am gonna take as much as possible just so I can future-proof my plants. Because if you don't remember, I am not using any gas station with the pumps in this challenge, as it kind of takes away from the whole scavenger feel of this and fixing up your own vehicle. It, it, it makes me feel a lot more accomplished, you know what I mean? So we'll do that with the extra vehicles, drive back to my schoolhouse, and finally catch some Z's. Though before doing that, I will visit our old station wagon friend just to grab all of the supplies I dropped off here, and more importantly, all of the gasoline I left in it as well. Oh yeah, don't think I forgot about you, hatchet, random jar of glass marbles, and um, that's really it. I guess the gas lantern's pretty cool as well. Oh man, what a good day though. We got a working car, we got gasoline, we got a working battery, we got everything we could ever need. Now, the only thing I need is a little bit of sleep. Oh my... I actually got extremely worried that that was the zombie getting in. It, it might have been. No, I think I'm just having a night terror attack. I dropped my damn baseball bat again. But welcome, it's 5 p.m. What a fantastic time to finally get out and to get going. You know what I mean? Now I can finally describe what I'm going to be doing. And right now... Uh, I am not prepared to go on an exodus. I have gasoline, so I'm not too worried about that. The one thing I'm not confident in is my supplies. I had to eat the entirety of my cereal. Matter of fact, I'm going to eat it all right now, which leaves me with like six bags of chips for an entire journey, which would be fine if I was just visiting, let's say, the, the southern part of this area and just wanted to stay around the area. It's, it's okay for that. But when I need to actually move all the way to Riverside or even Phallus Lake, that's going to require a lot of food. So right now, my plan is to grab my uh, truck here and move down towards the supermarket convenience store with the bar slash laundromat area. This spot here should have a bunch of good and well needed supplies. And along the way, I'm going to be keeping an eye out for any survivor homes. And maybe if I'm feeling a little bit risky, uh, I'll, I will visit the police station, which might have something, though it probably won't. Alrighty, let's get a move on. Hopefully Trash won't butterfinger his bat when he needs it the most. Overall, the front area is pretty clear. Let's hurry up, hop in, and to get this bad boy started before the pursuer even has a chance of figuring out that I'm already gone. See you later, chuckle nuts. I am getting the hell out of here. And immediately I'm going to forget what I just said because this is a gas station and I almost forgot that gas stations have a very high chance of dropping a lot of goodies. Now I will say one thing, I am kind of scared about this place because it has a lot of windows for the pursuer to jump through. So um, we're going to need to be quick. Any snacks? There's actually nothing in here. Okay, this place was useless. Oh my, okay, that, that's just me screaming to myself. I dropped my damn bat. <laughs> of course I did. Why, why, why wouldn't I? <laughs> we got it back though. Let's get a move on all the way down there now. 
Awesome sauce. I'm gonna stop the car and we can go check out what this mini mart has. Already, from the from the looks of the shop, we're not gonna have too much, but oh, oh hello there, sir. It looks like he has something in his back. Uh, maybe it was from another survivor, though I'm pretty sure I'm the only one. Okay. I need to figure out a way on how to lose this idiot now. Um, he's tripping over himself, like the loser he is, and right now, I think the best chance of me losing him, actually, he might have just lost himself, all I need to do is continue running down this way and hopefully I can loot the place without too much of an issue. As the only thing I need to do is run into the woods a little bit and do a quick little loop-de-loop -loop and I will probably lose him. And it looks like we did, which gives me free reign to go loot all of these doors. For now, I'm gonna go check. Oh, nope, never mind. He's back. Okay. Hey, <laughs> maybe, maybe it's gonna be a little bit difficult to lose him. Oh, man. He is a, he is a fast guy as well. Are the doors open? Of course they're not open. Um, I have an idea. We're gonna go into the residential area, which should be right down to the south here. I'll see if I can lose him inside one of the nearby buildings, and then I will be 100% certain on him not following me. The only thing I need to do right now is make sure I don't get, you know, I don't get jumped. Hey, could you like screw off for a minute, buddy? Of course it's locked. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> Shoot. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All I need to do is not panic. That's locked as well. Okay, I'm starting to panic. I'm starting to panic hard. He is actively gaining on me. Um, maybe I hop into the corner store. Or maybe the local spiffos. It's locked. Why is it always locked? He's catching up to me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This door. Oh, it's open. It's open. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not, let's not worry. I'm gonna sprint. Get ready. Shut the door. Boom. Okay. Whew. That was a close one. I'm gonna go grab some of the nearby ketchup packets here. I'm gonna go fill up a little bit of water because I do need some water on my trip ahead. That way I have a little bit of padding for when I get lost out in the middle of the woods or run out of fuel mid trip. I hope that he's gonna continue to stay on that door and I can go loot the mini mart without too much of a uh, <laughs> hassle now. <laughs> get outsmarted once again. Ooh, we also have gasoline in this nearby car. But anyways, what do we have inside this beautiful little mini mart? We have a snow shovel, which is actually huge. I'm not gonna explain why just yet, but that might save my life later, especially once I get established. We have some dry ramen noodles, a candy package, perfect depression fighting material, a porta disc, a leaf rake, a spatula, another orange soda. I'll actually drink this one right now so I can use it as an extra gasoline container. <laughs> and lastly, we have a small seed bag and an entire bag of rice. Actually huge. For one, it's high in calories, and two, um, it's high in calories. We'll go drop off everything I found and finally loot the bar. And already, I can tell that this is going to be a lot more prosperous than the convenience store we just looted, as I have beer, uh, bop, 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 chips, even more wine, and more importantly, we got bourbon, some cigarettes, which would actually help out with my stress, and who would have thunk? More alcohol. <laughs> Hell yeah, that gives me a lot more food to be confident on my journey, and now that we finally have all of it, I can be a little bit more confident in leaving Riverside. I think this is a good time to end the episode as we have finally moved on up in the world. Maybe next time we can visit Phallus Lake and if we're lucky, even visit Rosewood. If you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more to see where this takes us. Um, and right now, with how fast the fuel counter is ticking, probably not too far. Anyways, peace the hell out everyone.